and good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you are, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review of, ta-da, Bomi Box. And, um, I actually don't know how I got this, because I didn't order it. It has my name on it, though, so I just figured I'd review it for you guys, because, um, why look a gift horse in the mouth, right? So this, I believe, is the August box, and it's a really pretty box. It's got, like, mermaids all over it. So, we're gonna open it up and take a look inside. Alright, so I actually, I think I got a Bomi box one time, but, um, I don't remember everything that came inside of it. So, because it was a while ago, I think if I did get it, I would have put a review up on here. So, I'll try and link to that if I can find it, but I just, I don't remember what I thought of it. So, inside, it is packaged nicely. It's got this nice little wrap on top of it. And then some uh, little confettis in there because it, it kind of reminds me of, uh, ooh, who used to do that? Glossy box, I think. So the confettis, and now we're just gonna get into it. And I'm gonna get these confetti all over the place. Ooh, nice. All right, so first I see the Pyung Kang Yul Acne Facial Cleanser. I've heard of this brand before, and I've actually been wanting to try some of their stuff because I think it was on Style Korean. They've got uh, a, an eye cream package that's like a little tin and it comes with little sachets of eye cream. And I thought it was really unique and really nice because it kind of portions it out for you and tells you how much to use each day. Like you use one pack each day, I think it is. And I thought that was really nice because then you know when you're running out. Like when you get to that little last pack, you're like, oh, I gotta buy some eye cream. And for me, eye cream is one of the things that I forget that I need to buy. <laughs> so like right now I'm running low on eye cream, but I'm so low that by the time something gets here, I will already be out of eye cream. So if you are like me, then maybe look into that. But yeah, so this is the Acne Facial Cleanser. And I haven't heard too much about this brand. I looked up a little bit about it because I wanted to try out the eye cream. But I, like what I did read about it seemed like it was good for some people, like really good. Or for other people it was just like so-so. Like it didn't harm their skin, it just, did, they didn't see too much of a difference. So I'm not afraid to try it. Oh my gosh, I love the packaging. And it's so simple. Like who would, who would have thought that I would love this packaging as much as I do. So that is item number one. I don't know if they've got like a little sheet in here that tells you everything that's in here. Next is the Rovectin, Rovectin Sika Care Balm. I've never heard of this brand, Rovectin. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong too because I've never heard of it before. So it says, this is the Rovectin Skin Essential Sika Care Balm. The highly refined concentrate balm soothes irritated skin with matacasicide, calamine, and Rovectin's barrier repair complex. Enhances skin-related quality of life and tolerability from extremely stressed skin conditions. That sounds good to me. Directions, apply to face and irritated skin area, suitable for sensitive and dry skin. Use morning and or night, apply as often as necessary. All right, well anyway, it's an advanced formula, hypoallergenic, non-paraben, no fragrance, no colorant, and no mineral oil. So this could be interesting for maybe even for the winter. I might say this for the winter because it says it's for like stressed and irritated skin. So I feel like that's helpful for me in the winter because my skin, my skin does not like the winter. I was born to live in California where it's warm and sunny all the time. Not in Chicago where it's like cold, cold. And then you get a little hint of warmth and then it's cold. The next item is the Opu, uh, mat, this word, again, Madacasodi, Madacasoside. The Opu Madacasoside Cream. I think I'm saying that right. Not 100% sure. Correct me in the comments down below if I'm wrong. So this is cream derived from the nature, strengthens skin barrier by providing protective film to the skin. It also has Centella Asiatica leaf water. And um, it says, what's the word? Metacasticide cream with natural protection from harmful environment to help make healthy skin. Hmm. So it seems like it's like an environmental protector cream. 
that's really cool because if you guys watched my Jolsey haul, you know that I just recently bought a cream. Um, well, it's like a sun cream that I bought because it was for environmental protection as well as sun protection. So if this can protect from the environment as well, wow, 40% centella. I will give this a shot. I'm, I'm gonna, hopefully there's like a little thing in here somewhere that says a little bit more about each of these products because, um, I, I mean, I can read what's on the package, but is this for environmental protection? Like for pollution and stuff like that? Because Chicago is a pretty polluted city. So if it is for pollution protection, I'm all for it. But, or is it from like, the harmful elements like wind and drain and does rain harm your skin i don't think so but you know what i mean like cold rain why do i keep saying rain cold wind uh heat heat is harmful for your skin as well so is it that kind of environmental protection or is it against pollution i will i will look into that oh i see something i know it is the Cozarx Acne Pimple Master Patches. And um, I just bought some of these, but now I feel a whole lot better because I ration them out, kind of, and I determine how bad a pimple is just by thinking, do I have anything I need to do tomorrow? And if I do have to like go out or have an event or something, then I'll use them because I only have one package. And so I like, I ration them. But now that I have a second package, I don't have to ration them as much. Oh, but if you guys haven't seen any of my other videos and you don't know what these are, these are like um, little pimple patches. So when you get a pimple, you put it on the pimple and leave it on. I, I do it overnight. Some people do it during the day too. I think they even make thinner ones so that you can put makeup over it and it looks a little more natural. But this is great to kind of like get all the gunk out and you don't have to like put pressure on and like pop the pimple. It just gets all the gunk out for you and then the pimple heals a lot faster. Next, I see a sheet mask, and I love sheet masks. I've got like a bunch of them right now, but I feel like you can never have too many because I use I use one a week right now. And this is adorable. This looks kind of like the, I think it was Apu. No, it was Etude House. I don't remember who it was, but somebody had like the milk, green tea milk masks that I bought a while ago. And so this is the Strawberry Milk Balm Mask from G9 Skin. I've never heard of that brand, but, I am ready to try it. And it says, with milk protein extract and strawberry fruit extract, this tone care mask helps transform dull and dark skin tones into clear and lively skin. So I feel like that's really nice because I don't have too many, um, I have a lot of moisturizing masks, but not like tone up masks or like um, brightening masks. I don't have a ton of those. Most of the ones that I have just moisturize. So this will be nice to try out. Like I said, you can never have too many sheet masks. Next is another sheet mask from Misha. The Aloe Sheet Mask. So this contains aloe vera extract with excellent moisturizing resistance for rough skin by dryness. It helps to strengthen the skin with forming a moisturizing layer. So this is a moisturizing mask. I will probably save it for the winter because um, it's moisturizing and it says it's supposed to be for rough skin because of dryness. So I feel like I don't really have that going on right now because we're still in the kind of warm weather. It's, it's really becoming fall here though. Like, it, I think it's like 60 something degrees outside today, 70 degrees. We only had like two days of summer here. That's how it works. But yes, I'm looking forward to trying this in the winter. Woo, there's more. Yeah, this is the Daylism Serum Rouge by Hamish. And this is in the shade RG PK02 Languid Afternoon. It's cute packaging. Very simple. Oh, and it's just like a cute pink color. I like that. I would try it on right now, but I already have like a lip product on. But if you guys want to see like a little review of this, let me know because these like makeup products are things that I can review pretty quickly. Sorry if I'm in a different place. My camera ran out of space. Rhymes. So yeah, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be something special. On the back it says Hello Butter Rouge. So I don't know if it's just supposed to be really smooth. I don't see a, like a booklet or anything in this box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look it up. I will look up all of these products. All right, the last item in this box is Pyeong Kang Yul Nutrition Cream. Like I said, I wanted to try out the Pyeong Kang Yul line and so I'm really excited to try this little thing too. And it's such a cute little jar. I'm like, I wanna open it because cute things 
tiny things are cute to me tiny things are adorable so I really want to open this and use it like now but I honestly don't need nutrition cream right now I don't need any cream I have like multiple moisturizers but this I'm definitely gonna try out in the winter and uh, see what it does for my skin or like within the next couple weeks I'll probably be able to try this out let's be honest because it's gonna get cold so if you guys want reviews on any of this stuff, please let me know in the comments down below and I will be happy to do that for you. I don't really know how to rate this box because um, I didn't pay for it. Uh, but okay, I'll, I'll rate it based on how happy I am with the items in the box. I'm very happy with the items in the box. I love that there are two Pyeong Kang Yoo items in there. And um, it, it's a brand that I've been wanting to try out for a while. I'm really happy with everything in this box. I'm gonna look up real quick what like the theme of this box was. And I'll be right back. All right, so I found out that Bomi Box does actually have a digital card. So you're supposed to look it up each time. And um, it says this month our star ingredient in both Bomi Box and Bomi Bag is Sika. Sika is also known as Centella Asiatica, which contains active ingredients such as Asiatic acid, metacastic acid and asiaticide and asiatic asiatic asiaticoside and made it madacasticide all right um hopefully you don't subscribe to me for my pronunciation because it stinks sika is well known for its magical star healing magical star healing sika is well known for its magical scar healing soothing and restoring properties. So this month we've made sure to include Sika based products so you can be ready for the dry and damaging fall and winter months. Perfect! So yeah, I was ready to use all this stuff in the winter and they were already preparing us. So thank you Bomi Box for caring about people in climates like Chicago where it's becoming winter already. It is safe for all skin types and benefits also include faster wound healing, UV pigmentation prevention, antioxidant properties, antibacterial, anti-aging, anti-redness, and reduction of the appearance of scars. Which is great because I have a little bit of redness that happens in my face occasionally and I, I'm looking forward to using all of this stuff. So now let's see the products. The Apu Cream is anti-wrinkle and brightening. It is meant to soothe irritated skin and help repair skin damage. The niacinamide also brightens skin, while witch hazel extract and panthenol keep skin hydrated and soft. It's the perfect nourishing treatment for tired, damaged skin. Provictin Skin Sika Care Balm. It says this powerful pink treatment soothes breakouts and irritated skin with madagascaride, calamine, and Rovectin's trademark barrier repair complex acts as a lipid to strengthen your skin barrier. Cool. Then the cleanser says this antibacterial, anti-inflammatory powerhouse gently cleanses your pores without damaging your skin barrier. It adjusts the water oil balance of your skin to control sebum production. Then the Hamish Rouge says enhance your natural lip color with the subtle lip that simultaneously keeps your lips moisturized with hydrating ingredients, sunflower seed oil extract, Brazil nut oil extract, rose oil extract, and vitamin rosehip oil extract. So it is meant to moisturize. I think that'll be interesting to use in the winter as well because the winter is when you get really dry lips. So if this can keep you moisturized in the winter, it will be a keeper. Then the Cosrx Acne Pimple Patches. I'll just read to you a little bit what it says because I kind of already explained it, but it says it treats breakouts by eliminating infection and bacteria, which is what causes them in the first place. It's able to break down debris from blackheads and absorb gunk from whiteheads overnight. So you won't experience a harsh dry patch from using this. It even helps flatten and heal cystic acne faster. And then the nutrition cream, great for dry, rough, dull patches, this Pyeong Kang Yoo nutrition cream is nothing to be underestimated. Oh, or it's Astragalus membranosus root extract fights inflammation, while shea butter and macadamia oil provides high moisture and nutrition. Pyeong Kang Yoo nutrient cream is a luxuriously thick and smooth moisturizer that glides on easily and melts into skin without feeling heavy or greasy. Formulated with safe and gentle skin beneficial ingredients, this nutrient-rich cream delivers intense hydration that lasts all day. Perfect for those with parched, rough, and dull-looking skin. It prevents signs of aging, improves elasticity, and boosts skin with youthful radiance. Then, the G9 Milk Balm Mask. This delicious strawberry milk sheet mask will leave your skin soft and supple with its thick, milky essence. This mask includes milk protein extract, strawberry extract, and grapefruit extract. Brighter, shinier, and healthy skin. And finally, the Misha Sheet Mask is 
an aloe sheet mask. This is this thin sheet mask is infused with aloe extract and builds an elastic film and boosts the skin with vitality and moisture. Now let me see how much this box normally costs. Do, 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 do. All right, so this box is normally $37.99. So um, I haven't looked up the prices of all of these items, so I'm not 100% sure if it's worth the price. That being said, I didn't pay that price, so I don't know how I would have felt if I would have paid that price. It's kind of hard to say. I am happy with everything that's in here. I just don't know if it's worth that value. If it is, then I think this is like a four, four and a half heart box. And the only reason I take off half of a heart is because there's two sheet masks and I feel like for $37.99, um, depending on the value of the other products, if the other products are really valuable, I understand. But if they are like all mid-range prices, then I feel like having two sheet masks in there, like you could have taken out one and put in another product. Maybe another makeup product, but I don't know if Foamy Box is more geared towards makeup or skincare or trying to make it equal but I would have liked to have seen one more makeup product. I think that would have been nice. Maybe like a, um, a blush for the winter that's like not drying, like a cream blush or something like that that would help people with dry skin to still be able to wear blush and stuff <laughs> in the winter. But that is it for today's unboxing and review, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and uh, share this video with your friends so that way they can like it too and they can subscribe and we can all hang out together here on this channel so again that's it <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate it and i hope to see you all back here next time bye madacassidy mad made madacass castle it says it's an advanced formula hyper uh, hypo hypo Says great for dry, rough, dull patches. This poop.